Alright guys, so I thought I would do a review of the Yellow Jacket knee sleeves. These are a Titan brand. These are the third pair of knee sleeves that I've used. I used the Rebands first for the first year that I was powerlifting. And then the SPDs came out and they were absolutely amazing. And I used those for a year as well. But after a year, I found out about Yellow Jacket knee sleeves and I thought I'd give them a try. I went on the website to order these and I looked up my sizing and I know for the SBD website it asks you to size based on your calves because if your calves are larger then you would need to go up a size uh, so you could pull the sleeves up. Uh, on the Titan website they don't mention anything about calf sizing and I just used their regular sizing chart. I measured around my knee. Um, I looked at, you know, the weight class distribution. I, I competed in the 148s and 165s. And I wanted a competition fit. So I went with a smaller size, which was a small. And what I found and what I've noticed that other people are finding as well is that that's usually too small. What ends up happening is you can't pull the sleeve over your calf. It would have been impossible, it would have been a nightmare for me to have tried to pull these smalls up. So when you return the sleeves, you have to obviously pay for your own shipping and you have to pay for it to get shipped back to you. Which is perfectly fine if it's a user error, but I feel like the sizing on the website is incorrect and it should note about the calf issue or it should just, they should need different measurements on their website. I'm not the only person who complained about this. A few other people needed to size up. Anyway, aside from the sizing issue, the cost is less than the SBDs. SBDs are about 90 These are about 70 ish but if you take into consideration that you have to ship it back and forth, it winds up about the same because nobody wants to get sleeves that are not the proper size because sizing matters a lot when you have something that fits so tightly. You can tell I'm really bothered by the sizing thing, right? I personally think that the design is nice, it's unique. I like the cross on the front. I know a lot of people don't. The cross stitching also provides extra support and I thought that I would like that but after actually having it on, I realized that it's um, it's tight. The X portion, but the rest of it is kind of stretchy. I don't like the fit of it. I had the rebands first, and I loved them, and they worked perfectly fine. But once I slid on the SPDs, I was like, wow, this offers a lot of support. It's going to give you a great rebound. And you could slide on the SPDs, and you could get into the bottom of a squat and it pops you back up. When I was recording my first set wearing these, I played it back and I wasn't hitting depth. You know, I know people who wrap their knees have trouble hitting depth because they're so constricted, which is a good thing, but it doesn't give you rebound out of the hole. So I'm confused. How is it that it's tight? It restricted me to the point where I had trouble hitting depth the first set, but it didn't give me that pop and the rebound that I get from the SBDs. They don't restrict me from getting into the hole, and it gives me a great rebound. I feel like the X keeps you more upright. You're resisting against the stitching. I didn't love it. There's a few other things that I didn't really like about it, like there's no right and left label on the sleeve. I would recommend that you pick one for your right leg and mark it, and then right left on your on the one that you use for your left because over time it does conform to your body and your right leg and your left leg are not the same and it kind of would be nice I know it's a very little tiny thing but it makes a difference when you're competing that you don't break them in too much by switching between your right and your left leg over time this would make a difference at first it might not the Visual appeal, I would probably rate 4 out of 5. You know, I like the SBDs because they're black and red, and it looks like that's the theme of powerlifting, just everything black and red. So I like that everything matches all the time. I like that I have a black 
singlet and I have black and red wrist straps and I have red shoes and everything is matching. That's the girly part of me that doesn't like that I'm going to have bright yellow sleeves and red and black everything else. But I would get over it with a good quality product. The sizing I'm not happy with. I wish that they wrote something on the website because the sizing is the reason that I wanted new sleeves because my SPDs were too big on me and I broke them in and they started getting a little bit loose. I also feel like it doesn't go as high up on the leg as the SPDs but it might just be because they're smaller, smaller size so I have a more difficult time. Pulling. The cost is obviously better than SPDs but if you factor in shipping costs because of improper sizing again it ends up being roughly the same. Mike is really good about responding to emails and about switching out your product and getting it shipped to you in a timely manner. So customer service is excellent, but quality of the sleeves, I'm going to have to give it a 3 out of 5 stars. I'm sorry, I really wanted to love it. I wouldn't have spent the money on sleeves if I didn't want to love it, but I will try them with every squat session I don't have my other knee sleeves on hand anymore I just don't know if it's worth getting on a pair of really tight knee sleeves if they don't offer the support that you need in your squat I kind of feel like okay I'd rather you know buy ten dollar Walgreens knee sleeves just to keep my knees warm if I'm gonna just be uncomfortable and have my circulation decrease but not really get a lot of support I know it sounds I'm making it sound a lot worse than it is. I think it's because my expectations were a little bit high. I was hoping that I found the next new revolutionary knee sleeves and it turns out that they're... I don't even know if I would pick these over rebands. I think give I would rebands 4 out of 5 stars and, and I would give the SBDs probably 5 out of 5 because they're the, the best product on the market right now. What I'll probably end up doing is buying another pair of SBDs in a smaller size because they're tried and true. Womp womp. Here's a little bit of stretch action just so you can see how stretchy it is. But yeah, that's it, man.